let's talk about networking on the NX2. The NX2 features two network ports, Ether DMX and Remote. Generally, we take Ether DMX and we use that for our ARTNET and SACN data and perhaps CITP for our media server. On the Remote port, we'll use things like the Onyx Remote, OSC, etc. Let's go into our menu and start configuring. Into our main menu, the middle section is called Network. First, we have our network settings. The shows shows us any XNet shows that are on the same network. That is, the network adapters that have XNet enabled. In this case, there's only one. If there were multiple, we could join a show from here, which we can also do from the main splash screen when we boot up the console. But also, as we click on a show that's on a different device, it shows us information about that show. Devices shows us different devices on the network. Again, just like the different shows, this shows us the different consoles. And we're able to push or leave shows. Now, when we are using XNet to sync multiple consoles together, running the same show file, they need to be on the same software version in order to talk to each other. Now, interfaces shows us those two network interfaces. In this case, we're just using the Ether DMX port. And so we've got the set up here. We can press on it, but it's already selected. Then we can turn on the protocols that we want to use. In this case, ArtNet is on, as well as Onyx Remote. At the top, we have three IP address settings. Automatic, which will use DHCP in order to get an address. Static, which allows you to de define your own address. And EtherDMX, which uses an address in the two dot range with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 so that you can connect over ArtNet using the two dot range. Press apply and you're good to go. Now in the Ether DMX, we'll see a couple more settings. This first window shows us our different network interfaces and we can toggle on ArtNet and or SACN, set up whether it's an input and output, set our universes, and we're able to set our override option to unicast to a device if needed. Then on devices, this is where we'll see any ArtNet devices that support ArtNet polling, such as the Netron range from Obsidian Control Systems. When devices do support this, such as the Netron range, you're able to see all the ports of your nodes in this screen. You can press on any of them, and you're able to change the universe that's routed to each port without having to go to your node and set it up individually. This can be a massive time saver. Again, this is an ArtNet feature that's available only when ArtNet polling is available, which it is on these devices. Our next section is CITP, which we can turn on and connect to a particular interface to use with media servers. And those are the basics. It's really that simple to set up your network output and get rolling fast on the NX2.